Hey everyone, Pencil Kenny here, and today I have a really exciting unboxing video for you. This is the Hobonichi Techo 2018, uh, as you can see by the text on the box. The famous yellow box, I have finally got it. Okay, so there are two boxes here. This is actually part of a group order that I organized um, to save on shipping with, a with five other people. So I'll just quickly do an unboxing and then in another video, I'll, in another segment of this video, I will show you what I have ordered and talk about my setup for 2018 for Hobonichi. It's my first year ordering and I'm so excited. So let's go. what I bought from the Hobonichi website. Okay, so first, this is the melon cover for the A6. It is um, really the reason why I even placed the order this year. I really, I looked at, I took one look at the color on the website and I thought I have to have that. And so yeah, here it is. Uh, I'll show you what is inside all of these covers uh, in a moment, but here I'm just showing you what I bought. I actually tried to find some videos on YouTube about this particular cover because I was very excited about the color, but I couldn't find anything. So, well, hopefully you get a better idea after seeing this video. It is a yellowish green. Um, that is basically my favorite color, but it's slightly less yellow. It's more green. And the inside is like a, a very nice, slightly like washed out green like a bluish green here so that's very very nice yeah a6 it comes with the cover on cover um if you familiar with the hobonichi you should know that and it has this little zip pocket here to access the back pocket of the cover yeah this is a very basic one and then for i also ordered the um Sebastian Masuda's thank you all cover. This was from the 2017 lineup and I actually didn't get it from the Hobonichi website. I got it from a third party seller who was selling, you know, 2017 covers. I didn't think that it would carry it, like Hobonichi would carry it over to 2018, so I just ordered it uh, like out of fear that I wouldn't be able to anymore in the future, but they actually carried over. So, well, whatever, I have it now. And so it's a um, very brightly colored pink and blue and yellow uh, design. Yeah, there's no back pocket here. With the um, compared to this one, it has a, like a back pocket slot. Yeah, this cover. I put a cover on cover on it. Yep. 
and the inside is a very bright yellow so that's very nice yep and the final cover that I got is oh all of the covers I got were A6 so I like that size the final one I got, I didn't get it from the Hobonichi website either because this one is actually discontinued. I had to find it uh, through a third party seller again. It is the black 2017 black pistachio color and I must say I fall in love with this inside like instantly. It is more yellow in comparison to the melon outside. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see that but it's slightly more yellowish tinted which is my preference. But yeah, if you're into, you know, this yellowish green color, you'll love this. And I, I freaking love it. And this one, I didn't put the cover on cover on it because one, I only had two. So I put it on the other two covers. And this two, the black just looks amazing as it is without the plastic. Yeah. So, okay. Let's get into the books that I have ordered from Hobonichi first. Oops, okay, everything is here. I ordered the A6 Avec original, so this is actually the first book. The Avec is like the whole year split into two books, and this is the first book in here. You can see it's really thin, and I'm a fan of that. And it only has one book in it, which is the Avec book, and I have the pencil board. This is from 2017 as well. I like the color more than the 2018 one. And at the back, I also bought the 2018 uh, weekly one, weekly booklet. This one is quite interesting. I did the pen tests with the, on this. So yeah, I'll get into what I'm gonna use them for uh, real quick. And okay, that's it for the books that I got from Hobonichi. And then I got the weeks. So this is the coral pink weeks. It's a really nice pale pink color and yeah it's a very simple one i mean i'm not really gonna give detailed like rundowns of all of any of these hobonichi books because there are so many resources online for that they've covered in greater detail so i'm just gonna show you what i'm uh planning to use these for in the next year and any accessories that i have to go along with it right so let's just kick off with the weeks since i have it here the weeks I'm really planning to um, use as a kind of life tracker, like I will write down what I eat, draw maybe in it, and just record down events, happenings, basically small little journal things. I may transition from using it that way to using it uh, as a planner, I'm actually not sure. Uh, part of the reason why I bought like everything, I bought the AVEC and the Weeks and the Weekly Supplement, like you don't need all three. Most people just stick with one system, but I bought like as many as I could uh, from Hobonichi this year because I wanted to try everything out and see what happens. Uh, next year, I'm definitely not buying so many because I would have figured out what I wanted. So the Weeks I got, um, I have in mind to, as I said, kind of do a meal tracking or even just like expenses and um, tracking write down what I bought and doodle here or I can use it as like a, a memories book um, or gratitude journal as I actually have used this one this is a 2017 uh, Muji like weeks knockoff basically uh, it's quite good the diff big difference is that uh, like it's very very similar to the Hobonichi weeks which is why I think it's a knockoff but uh, this the big difference is that this one is a week on one page this is a week on one page and then there's a blank spread so you have a lot less space in the Muji one but what I've been using the Muji one uh, so far since I got it in January until now is actually to kind of use as a pretty planning a place for me to just stick stickers in and washi and write down you know like events of the day so I think this is quite good like the space is small so I don't feel intimidated to uh, fill the whole page with journaling I'm not really one that writes long journal entries so this is like perfect for me just to record down like key events and memories without having to 
uh, you know, sit down and journal for hours. Well, yeah. So this is how I've been using the Muji one, and I'm still continuing with it, and I really like it. So I think I the weeks setup will really work for me, and we'll see what happens with it, with the weeks book. Yeah. I think this I'll be the most successful with the weeks book actually, but we'll see, we'll see. So and then we have this one. This black one has the uh, like I said Hobonichi like original of Vec. I plan on using this as an art journal just to kind of get in the habit of drawing every day because this paper is amazing. It handles ink and watercolor and what everything. Pretty much everything, basically everything. And it's amazing. So I just really plan on using it as an art journal. I don't know. I don't think I will need this much space to write to-do lists and plan. Because that, uh, what I plan uh, in a to-do list is basically all of the, the schoolwork that I'll be using. I'll be doing. So I don't think I need that much space or I will want to write down things every day. So I don't think that this as a planner will work for me. I think a planner will work in the weeks but not this one. This is too big of a space. So, you know, we'll see. I'm open to... Now I like I'm open to new suggestions and ideas and that's where the weekly insert comes in. This is really really small. This is smaller than an A6 size which is tiny. Like I have got tiny tiny hands. Okay, this is very very small. And this one is quite special to me. I'm really glad that they actually have a se separate book for the weeklies because I like a weekly layout. Um I prefer a horizontal weekly, like in the Hobonichi weeks, like that, uh, over a vertical weekly. But, you know, I still like to have a week at a glance because, you know, when you're in school, everything just kind of functions week to week basis. Uh, and the weekends are quite, you know, important to you and all that. So I think that the weeks layout is really what I'm um, going to enjoy and because it's got small little space I can just write the to-do lists I'm also planning to use it because they have a uh, time timeline here I'm gonna use it to track my work uh, like very simply just kind of like write it down here for example if I studied for two hours from uh, 9 to 10 then I'll 9 to 11 now just um, like block that time off and write studied and then I'll be able to use that to gauge what I spend my time on and be better prepared um, for life. Because I know next year I'm taking the A-levels and it will be very uh, hectic. So yeah, I'm really looking to this being my work planner because it is so small. I can leave this at home. I can, oops, I can even leave the Hobonichi weeks at home if that's too bulky. And I'll just carry this around like in my pocket or something. So, yeah, that's what I plan to do, but we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> right now, I just slot it into the, oops, I just slot it into the back cover of the Hobonichi cover. I think that's like, that's a perfect fit. Yeah. And then we go on to the, this one, the melon cover. What I have put inside is, this is a Muji A6 notebook. It's a dot grid. It's a very beautiful notebook with beautiful smooth paper. And here's a pen test. See, it's, it's quite good in terms of lead through. And I love this paper. I think I will use it as a sketchbook. Yeah, but <laughs> right now this thing, uh, to be honest, is just holding my spare like A6 inserts. I'm not really planning to use this as anything. Um, it's just that, you know, I had inserts and I had a blank cover that I'm not putting anything in so I just put them in there but right now what it has is I have this little booklet that I have been writing in since 2015 of vocabulary words like when I read things and I see a word that I don't understand I'll just write down and its definition and I think that really helped me with my uh, essay writing and vocabulary skills 
So I really, really like that. Okay, some of the words you might find very basic, but I have... I'm, I'm not the best at, like, languages, okay? And then at the back, I have another insert. This is a... Helix? Hurlitz? I don't, I don't know, forgive me. Um, book A6, a grid book. This is actually, like, part of the My Book Flex system, which is kind of like a... a... Um, traveler's notebook yeah you buy a cover and it has elastics in it and you buy these refills to put them in I just bought the refill because it was dirt cheap and I thought you know why not put it in my Hobonichi cover so yeah that there it is this is I don't have any plans for this um, but that's like that's part of the charm isn't it you, you jump into using these beautiful homonichis without really much of a forward planning and just see where it takes you and this one lastly we have the thank you all cover this is really really bright and i don't think i'll be carrying it to school or with me at all it will just stay at home because it's it's precious to me and what i have in here is three more notebooks um let's just go through this is one that a very simple grid uh a6 notebook. They're all A6. I don't know why I keep saying that, but this one I plan on just using as a collections or to swatch washi tape. I've already swatched some washi tape. I don't know about collections. Um, like the main motivation for me to use this as, as a collections book is so that um, throughout the years I can still carry this book. Like I don't have to trans. Uh, transfer or migrate all of the information if it's in a yearly, you know, dated Hobonichi. So if it's in a separate book and it's undated, I can just, you know, transfer it to a new book next year or in the year after next or etc. Yeah, I bought this one in Taiwan. And then the middle one is, you've seen this on my channel before if you've watched it, uh, I'll link it down below. This is the Stalogy 365 Editor's Notebook. Yeah, and I have repurposed it basically as a three-year diary. And that is the main focus of this cover, like this entire thing, is houses my three-year diary. And it's like 2018, 2019, 2020. I will write something in it every single day, and just for memory keeping. Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't overlap too much with the, perp with the uses of my other Hobonichis so I can like feel motivated to actually write in this and write in the other ones as well. I'm really excited to use them, but I don't uh, have high expectations of them like completely succeeding either. Mm, okay, pen test. Like I've gone through this book in the, that video, so you can check it out if you're interested. And in the back, I have a, another Muji notebook. This one's a Muji uh, like recycled paper lined pages. And this one, I've just been taking notes in it, you know, taking notes from books I read and videos I watch and things like that. Yeah, uh, it feels very slowly because I don't read books, but yeah, you know, it's, it's nice to have a separate place for, for all that. So yeah, these are all of my, okay, this, this is not part of it. These are all of my 2018 planner, journaling related stuff. Uh, all, all of them, you know, come from Hobonichi some way or another. And I'll show you what I'm gonna kind of use as accessories in those things. This is one of my recent finds on Taobao, which is basically the site that AliExpress ships from. Um, but then I just ship directly from the site. And, okay, basically it's like an A6 size. Oops, let me just compare the size with the Hobonichi. You can see there. Oops. Uh, it's slightly taller and almost the same width. Yeah. It's a ring-bound, kind of a ring-bound little binder here. And they come with many of these pocket insert things. And the main purpose is for you to organize your stickers and washi tape. So they, first of all, they come with these uh, washi cards with kind of holes at the, uh, at the side that you can just press into the rings. And that is awesome in my opinion. And I have 
Let's just show you the my washi collection here. That wrapped around these washi cards. Yeah. Like this will be really convenient if I were to travel. I mostly use washi tape off of the roll, but if I were to, you know, travel, uh, it'd be really inconvenient to bring the whole uh, box of many many rolls of washi tape. Yeah. Most of my washi is from MT, the Japanese brand, or from Taobao again. Um, oops, it's not fitting in. Goodness. Okay, so then after that, I have these pockets that I have put sticker flakes in it. I find that sticker flakes are the hardest things to organize and I'm really, really grateful that I have a system now. So it's basically like a, a plastic sleeve, but it's not like the, the shitty plastic. It's like a matte, very smooth plastic that's in there. And then you basically put your sticker flakes inside like that. And I have a lot of them. I have a lot of sticker flakes. Yep. And it's amazing. Like this system is amazing. I love it. I'll link it down below. So if you want to order it off AliExpress, you could. And they also have a zipper pocket. And here I just have a bunch of printable, printables, printed out uh, pieces of artwork or photographs that I found off the internet that I really like. That sometimes I like to just put inside the journaling pages. So that's cool. And then I come to the bulk of what's in this, which is a little folder that I put all of my sheet stickers in. I have a lot of sheet stickers. They're all from uh, AliExpress. I don't order from AliExpress, but you can pretty much take it as equivalent. Yep, I have a lot of them. Um, you can just search things like Korean diary stickers or something or Japanese stickers most of them are Korean see like Korean characters so focus these are really really cheap and really good uh, quality for what it is oh no what is going on well okay just just take my word for it it's really cute and have a lot of them, <laughs> a lot of them. I don't think I'll ever finish using these, but really excited to just add more color into the journaling pages. Like I find that I get really inspired when I look at these, look at the designs, and then I'll, you know, feel more motivated to create my own like cute little illustrations as well. So yeah, these are really great and I really like that I have a folder to specifically organize these things. If not, they will just be a mess in my... You see? You see what I mean? I didn't even... Oh god, there's like really hard to control but you know, goes to show how important there uh, it is to have like a system just to organize these stickers. So I put them into the folder. I really wish they actually fit inside the um, binder, the sticker binder thing, but they don't. They have a, okay, the same seller has an A5 version of this that I'm pretty sure they do fit inside. But for me, you know, A6, girl I just I have no choice I would just put it there and then put it at the back and then close it with elastic so that is what I'll be using to in my Hobonichis as the year comes comes along so really excited for 2018 to come and for me to like start using these things yeah this is this is very excessive but that's how I like it so yeah 
goodbye and leave any comments any questions that you have you have down in the description below i'd be happy to answer and tell me if you've bought from hobonichi this year and what you're gonna use them for and what has worked for you and what hasn't if you've ordered it from in the past so i can well have be more informed about jumping into using these um thanks for watching and see you later